I'm hoping to convince you of something very important today. Um, you probably have heard of the down under shuffle as well as the under down shuffle. Now the biggest complaint that people have regarding those two shuffles is that they just take too long to perform. They're too much work to complete. Too many steps in the whole process, okay? So what I thought I would do with you here today is prove to you that you can still accomplish real magic doing just half the work. Okay, so to convince you of that, I have here the ace through 10 of hearts and they're in order. And so let's go ahead and we'll just kind of randomly mix these according to uh, your input. Um, but the hope is to, in the end, when we go to try to achieve some kind of magic, we won't have to do a full down under or under down. How would you like to stack? Left on right? Okay, very good. In fact, let me just show you how well mixed they are here in a second. Right on left. I'd like to do one more maybe. Okay. Right on left again. Okay, let me just show you here. Uh, those cards are pretty much mixed up here, as you can see. There's no particular order to these cards. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a 50% down under and show you that we can achieve the same level of magic as we can with a full down under. So we're doing all of this by doing half the effort. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, so a 50% down under. So down, under, down, under, down, under, down, under, down, under is that oh that's half of them drop those on top okay and so how would we know if we've uh, achieved something uh, surprising or amazing by using a 50 percent down under by doing half the work well i think the easiest way to check is let's go ahead and see we have 10 cards here so maybe we'll deal out in, into a pentagon and try not to go off the screen here so it's a, it's a nice little geometric figure here. Oh, by the way, I've had in camera view the whole time. You probably have wondered what this silly card is doing over here. I have a card off to the side. Well, it's our prediction card, okay? And so let's go ahead and just show you what it is I hope to accomplish by doing only a 50% down under. Okay, well, I know we have the ace through 10 of hearts. Well, that's the jack. Don't know if that's significant. So let's see what we accomplished here. So we got eight and a three, 10 and an ace, uh, two and a nine. Okay, anything interesting? Uh, seven and four, five. Oh, we went off, of course. So how could I designate this as like a prediction card? What is it about these cards um, that would relate to a jack of hearts in any way? Oh. You probably saw it before me here. A jack counts as an 11. What do these card values in pairs all add to? 11. Wow. We achieved the magic that I hoped by doing only half of the work typically needed. Okay. Very good. Okay. So you do everything that I did. Uh, this will work for you. So just start with um, ace to... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So what we're doing here right off is we view this as a mirrored structure. So we're we're saying that the ace and ten are going to be paired together. They add to eleven. The two and nine will be paired together, the three and eight. So we're viewing this as a mirrored structure from the start. Well, because we're viewing viewing it as a mirrored structure. We have the stay stack principle, which means we can deal out the cards into two piles because two is a divisor of 10. And we can deal out into two piles as many times as we like with random stacking and it will still quote be mirrored. Okay, so we won't really undermine anything that we hope to do. So the funny thing is, if you look at it now, most people would say this is just fundamentally different than what we had before. Well, of course, in many ways it is, but not in terms of its mirrored configuration because five and six add to 11, eight and three add to 11, seven and four and so forth. This is still mirrored. It has the same structure as it had before, okay? Now, the 50% down under will convert this to a two cycle, 
Okay, and that's a really cool, relatively new discovery that I'm sharing with you here today. So you don't have to do a full down under, which is nice because it can take a lot of work. Also, a 50% under down will do the same thing. It will move it to a two cycle structure. Okay, now the only thing to watch out for, let's go ahead and do an under down. So if you do an under, down, under, down, under, down, under, down. Okay. In fact, I guess in some ways the thing to be worried about is when you do a down under. When you do a down under, make sure you put that fifth card under, that you complete the down under procedure. So with under down, I guess you don't get into that trouble of not quite completing the moving of the final card because the final card here is a down and then we're done. So we have five, a random stack here. Okay. Since it's a two cycle, it's cyclic, right? So you can perform a Charlie shuffle or just a random cut. And then finally, because it is a two cycle, if you just deal out an entire cycle length of cards, which is five here, uh, you will be grouping together those very pairs that we had mirrored at the beginning. Okay, so all of these are guaranteed to add to 11, and they do. Okay, you can do this kind of thing for any even packet size, actually. It's just that you're going to have to change what the predicted outcome will be for the pairs. But the shuffles that I showed you, when it's mirrored, you have the stay stack and then converting it to a two cycle. You can do a 50% under down or a 50% down under. And then it's cyclic and then just deal out half the cards and then deal out the other half in the same order. And you will be pairing together the very pairs that you had in mind at the start. So anyway, this is kind of a fun result and um, it's kind of showcasing a relative new result on my channel regarding the 50% down under and the 50% under down. And those are kind of welcomed modifications to those shuffles because those shuffles, they can take a long time. If you have 15 cards and you're doing a down under, the spectator's probably going to lose interest. So anyway, thank you for watching. And I guess I should mention that 15 cards would not be a good example for what we're talking about here <laughs> because you have to be able to cut it in half right? So 50%. So maybe 16 cards or 14 or that kind of thing. Okay. Just want to make sure I didn't throw anyone off there. So thank you for watching and take a look at other videos on the Absolute Math Magic channel.